Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of generating additive and multiplicative patterns. This is standard 5.4c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 31 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got four different graphs. We simply need to find one that follows this rule. Y equals X plus three. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and just plot out some X, Y coordinates. And so we're gonna use that rule that they gave us, Y equals X plus three. And we're gonna start with some X's because those are our independent variables. We start with X's. And I always like to start easy. Start with a zero. I don't necessarily see a zero plotted here, but just just so we have it here, we're going to say y equals x plus 3. So we're going to replace or substitute in a zero for that x. So 0 plus 3, so that just equals 3. All right, so if we had a zero plotted, we would get, three as a y. But that's kind of what we're going to do here. So we're going to do y equals x plus three. But now we're going to substitute in one as my x because that is my independent variable. So now I've got a one plus three, so that's going to get me a four. So you see how the x and y uh, are kind of just increasing by one. There's always a difference of three, right? So that's our, this is an additive relationship because you see the addition there. So let's do 2. All right, so y equals x plus 3. Our x is going to be 2, so let's substitute that in. So 2 plus 3, that equals 5. And at this point, right, I mean, we, we could keep doing it, or we can just kind of follow the pattern. 0, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's the beauty of an additive pattern is you can just follow those patterns. Uh, that should be more than enough, though. So let's take a look at our answer selections, see which one works best. So we're just going to take a look at all of these, these points here. So we know our coordinate pairs here, right? So we're going to look at our x first. So that's a y. That's a 1. And our y second, that's a 3. So 1, 3. Hmm. I needed a 1, 4. So close, but not quite it. Look at that. 2 is the x, 6 is the y. Looks like they're multiplying instead of by 3 instead of adding 3. So, yeah, if you got this one, it is incorrect, but if you got this one, you were most likely multiplying by 3 rather than adding by 3. Uh, so let's check B here. And you notice how these are a lot closer together. Rather than A, they're spread out. Closer together here looks like an additive. And so we are going to, let's just draw some arrows. It looks like I've got a 1 and a 4. Okay, so I do have that. This one looks like it's going to be X of 2, Y of 5. Yep. And this one looks like X of 3, Y of 6. All right. B looks good, but as always, we don't jump to conclusions because something else might look good, and then we mess up somehow. I can tell you C looks multiplicative because look at how spread out it is, and look what they did. They they inverted the X and Y, so that's 3, 1, 6, 2, and that's 9, 3, which is the exact opposite of what I had right here. They just flipped the X and the Y. So it's not only multiplicative, but they inverted the x and the y's. So that's definitely not going to be it. And then, yeah, that looks like that's what they did here. Look at that x of 4, y of 1. This is an x of 5, y of 2, x of 6, y of 3, which those are the correct numbers, 4, 1, 5, 2, 6, 3, but they, they flipped them. They did the y first and then the x second. Uh, but I need, I need those flipped, so it's the x first, y second, so my answer here is B.